Hello. Uh, this is Sandeep, Sandeep Gulani. Today I'll be telling you something about uh, shouldering. Uh, so like I'm into mainly the chip level repairing of computer motherboard and laptop and desktop motherboards and all. And uh, many of you guys are probably into the same field and many of you are amateur to the same field. So probably you may like to know how the shouldering takes place in a commercial uh, working place. So today I'll be talking about shouldering of uh, computer motherboard uh, in, in a variety of phases. So let's see what the instruments first of all required uh, for the shouldering purpose. Now the main thing is this uh, SMD rework station. This is the SMD rework station. It is a hot air gun we call it out. From here the hot air comes out and uh, uh, hot air comes out and it has two knobs. One is for heater control and one is for the air control. Now this is, uh, you have to understand by doing the shouldering, what is the heater option and what is the air option, how much you have to keep it. Uh, sometimes you will find that the nearby components, they are so small to each other that they try to fly out from one place to the other. So you have to decrease down the air pressure in that case. If the heating is more, you will find the PCB starts burning, going black out and also you have to reduce the uh, what do you call uh, the uh, heat up uh, temperature and all. So this is the uh, one of the major units we use for this SMD working things. SMD means surface mounted design components. Uh, there are two type of components in our PCB. One are something called as PTH, put through hole. That is the component leg say like if I show you this capacitor, if I show you, if I show you this capacitor, this capacitor, this capacitor legs have come out to this place, yeah. this place. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, but if I show you some IC, let us say if I talk to you about this IC, uh, it is the pins are not there in the bottom side of it. Yeah. Hmm? The pins are only there on the top and side. So this sort of components are called as SMD, surface mounted design. Now there are even small components one can see out say like small resins, small capacitors. If you have problem seeing this video probably you can also see it your own motherboard. There are so many small components. Uh, they are the SMD resins, SMD capacitors and also on. So I will be talking today uh, related to this uh, motherboard uh, that how the shouldering takes place in the commercial world. Now, the next item what we require is a shouldering iron which is very compulsory one. This is a normal shouldering iron, generally of 20, 20 to 25 watt. Uh, a pointed bit is uh, more essential than a flat bit because in case if you are in shouldering, you might have been time doing in uh, say like SMPS or monitor or some other electronic devices and all. You may require a flat uh, bit uh, tip but as far as the motherboard is concerned, we require a pointed bit because very micro shoulderings are to be done over here and there. Then uh, this is a micro shouldering station, micro, uh, micro shouldering station, this small unit is a micro shouldering station. Uh, this is a micro shouldering iron. It is very small and handy to uh, do the shouldering works and all. Then uh, we require some tools, say like the cutters and also on the shouldering wires, the uh, uh, we call SMD paste and uh, the blowers, the multimeters to check out the continuities, maybe a magnifying glass and the very important thing is a table lamp uh, with a what you call a, a magnifying glass through which you have to almost work out the whole entire process. Now let us first start with the SMD viewer station. Uh, so this was the introduction to the space, what we require, the tools what we require to work out with the shouldering aspect of motherboard. So we will continue in the second uh, module of this uh, particular video. So thanks for the, hearing the first video.